Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ella and welcome to my channel where I make tech related videos. Okay, so today's video is for anyone who just received a new iPad. If you did, congratulations. I hope you will enjoy it. Or if you're like me and you've owned an iPad for a while and you want to revamp it, then this video is also for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you some of the first few things that you can do on your iPad in order to set up and customize it. So this is what the iPad looks like before. It's pretty cluttered and there's no organization and this is the after there are widgets there is a dock and the apps are much better organized i hope that this video will give you some inspiration for how you want to set up and customize your own ipad and actually just for this video i reset my ipad to its factory settings because i wanted to start on a clean slate so that i can show you guys absolutely everything from scratch so just for that effort please give this video a big thumbs up all right and let's just get started okay so this is pretty much the default view of the ipad now of course i do have a bunch of apps downloaded and if your ipad is brand new you probably wouldn't have this many apps but um yeah overall like it's pretty boring and the wallpaper isn't really that cute so we're gonna change this up all right so the very first thing that i like to do is go into my settings and do some customizations there so i pretty much just went in order first i customized the notification settings and then the sounds and then the do not disturb and then of course I turned on screen time because I want to know how much time I spend on my iPad. It is probably an unhealthy amount of time, um, but I wanna know that. <laughs> and then I went to general and removed some keyboards because I have like Japanese and Korean and um, yeah, I don't know when I added that, but like I cannot type in Japanese or Korean. So I really don't know why I had those. So I removed those. And then I went to the control center and I added a bunch more controls. Okay, so in case you didn't know, the control center is what you get when you pull from the top right corner of the iPad downwards and whatever controls you added in the settings will show up there. So if there's something in particular that you want to do really quickly, then I highly recommend adding that control into your control center. So for example, for me, I added a dark mode toggle. That way it will be very easy for me to toggle between dark and light mode. And then of course, screen recording because I do record my screen pretty often. And having those two controls in my control center just makes things so much easier. Okay, so after adding all of the controls that I want into my control center, I just moved on with the rest of the settings. I didn't really do anything else super interesting. So let's just move on forward. Okay, so after I'm done playing around with the customizations in the settings, now it is time to delete the extra Apple apps on a brand new Apple device. There are always so many of these Apple apps on there and I just don't use a lot of them. So usually the first thing that I do is just get rid of those built-in Apple apps. Okay, and of course, after deleting some apps, it is now time to go into the app store to download some apps that I actually do want. So so I downloaded YouTube, of course, and Google Chrome. I also downloaded Temple Run 2, which was like one of my favorite childhood games ever. I remember playing that during lunch when I was in like seventh grade or something and it was so much fun. <laughs> and I also downloaded this app called Widgetsmith and I will show you guys what I did with Widgetsmith a little bit later on in this video. Okay, so after I got all of the apps that I want and need downloaded, now it is time to arrange my iPad so that the apps are not scattered all over the place, which makes it really hard to find anything. So I started moving the apps around and actually this part made me realize how difficult it is to move apps on the iPad. Like usually if you just move one app it's not that big of a deal but this time I literally moved like 20 apps and it took a while but anyways so what I did was I first worked on the home screen which is the very first screen on the iPad and I like to keep my home screen pretty minimal so I actually didn't fill it up with apps instead I only moved my most used apps onto the home screen which really isn't that much I also added the most most used apps out of my most used apps onto the dock of the iPad because you can access the dock of 
the iPad anywhere, no matter which page of the iPad you're on, no matter what app you're in, you can access the dock. And that's why I put all of my most, most, most used apps, like apps that I open up every single day onto the dock so that it will be super easy for me to access them. And then for just my most used apps, so not apps that I open every day, but maybe every week, I put it on just my home screen. And then for the rest of the apps, so apps that I maybe open up like once a month or maybe even less than that, I just put them on the following page and then I kind of arrange them a little bit. Okay, so after a while of arranging, because again, just moving iPad apps is kind of difficult. Now, it is time to make some widgets to add to the side of my home screen and this is where the app widgetsmith comes in because widgetsmith will allow us to make our widgets i really like widgetsmith because you get a bunch of options there's a small medium and large size and then for each size of widget you can choose a time widget a date widget a custom photo widget a calendar widget a reminder widget and then even some astronomy widgets which i find pretty cool so then i got to work creating my widgets the very first widget that I created is a time widget and also for each widget you can customize the look of it too so you can customize the font the tint color the background color border color etc it is super customizable so you can really make the widgets fit your own taste Okay, so in total, I ended up making four widgets, a time widget, a date widget, a sunrise widget. I don't know, I just like to know the time of the sunrise. Like, it's kind of cool to me. And then a moon widget that tells me what phase the moon is currently in right now. All right, and now it is time to add the widgets to the iPad's home screen. So I just first cleared off all of the existing widgets to start on a clean slate. All you have to do is click the plus button to add a widget and then find the widget smith app, scroll to whatever size widget you just created all of my widgets are medium size and then the widget will be added onto the home screen and now in order to choose exactly which medium widget you want all you have to do is press and hold on the widget and then it will flip over and then you can just choose the correct one so I wanted the very first widget to be my time widget and that's what I chose so then I basically just repeated those steps for the rest of the widgets and now let's fast forward a little bit I also added a notion widget I didn't know notion had widgets before this so finding out about this was really cool for me because I use Notion every single day and I just added two of my favorite pages into the Notion widget. That way it will be super easy for me to access those pages. Okay, and I also wanna show you guys that you can actually make a widget stack. So for example, I wanted my sunrise widget and my moon widget to be in one stack so that they take up less space, but I can still scroll between the two widgets to see both of them. So yeah, that is something else that you can do. Okay, all right, and that is it for the widget customizations on the iPad. Since the amount of space given to the widgets is quite small, like it's only a third of the home screen, I really didn't bother with too much customization because if I added a bunch of widgets, like you won't be able to see them anyways. You'll just have to scroll for forever in order to see all of them. And that's why I just added four widgets. And the very last thing that we're going to do is of course find some beautiful wallpapers because like I said in the beginning, the default wallpaper wallpaper just really isn't it. I went on the website unsplash.com. In my last customization video, a lot of you asked me where I got my wallpaper. Well, this is where this website is super awesome. You get a lot of like really nice, beautiful photographs. And I really like the look of sunsets and oceans. So I kind of went for that theme. And after I found two photos that I really love, I made one into my home screen and the other one into my lock screen. And yeah, that is it for all of the customizations. Now my iPad looks so much better than it did in the beginning.
Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also please consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more content from me. I plan on making a lot more tech videos and yeah, that'll be it for this video. I will be back very soon with more. So I hope to see you in another one of my videos. Bye!